cosplaying as her favorite champion, maybe she'll let you do some raiding. Ew, you nasty boy. <laughs> Funny jokes aside, gaming addiction and gambling addiction are both real and problematic issues. With raid, you are never happy. Look at this. Look at look at this. Help. Wife addicted. My wife is addicted to raid. Shadow Legends. Every second of the day, she has that game on auto battle. Whenever I think we're finally alone together, bam. She pulls it out of her pocket, and I see a screen that says, Victory. I've brought it up a few times, but she insists it's her way of winding down. That's crazy, dude. Who, who's addicted to Raid Shadow Legends, honestly? But it, it's funny because it reminds me of that one guy I did a video on where it was actually his wife saying that the husband was addicted and she went off on this bender. I think the, the video was like 30 minutes. I'll link it down below. But basically... Um, she asked Reddit for help on how to get her husband to stop playing Raid. And it's funny because now Raid has got their hands, Polarium has got their hands on somebody's wife. That is no longer your wife. That is Raid Shadow Legends' wife. That is no longer your wife. That is Polarium's wife. That is now Kale's wife. Feel me? Sounds like you need to wind down with some Raid Shadow Legends. No. This suggestion is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends, the most innovative game of 2019. One of us, one of us. When I'm not on the game, I'm usually on Reddit reading about the game. Or maybe you have the game on and you're listening to a content creator in the background for some good white noise. You got me with that one. True that. Not to mention that I'm thinking about Raid when I'm asleep, when I'm about to sleep. You guys ever do that? Do you ever think about Raid when you're about to sleep? Who here? Ra raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand right now if you dream about raid. Matter of fact, raise your hand if your body automatically awakes at three o'clock in the morning to make sure you hit the clan boss right when it opens, right when it resets. Oh, I know. Maybe I should try a toxic set champ on that, a uh, toxic set on that champ. Yeah, but I have to farm level 20 for a while. Then I start dreaming about the game. However, it's not an addiction. It's not. She's winning, let her win, my man. There you go, she's winning. Join her clan, that's another good one. That's real quality time. Brought to you by Raid. Satisfying wives since we can remember. That's a good one right there. At least it says victory. True. I had this issue with my spouse where I'm the one that had the game running all the time on RSL Helper or Auto Battles in my pocket. Even when I wasn't actively playing the game, I was still thinking about it much more than I'd care to admit. My wife talked to me and pointed out that I was that it was clear I wasn't fully focused on her or the kids when we were together. I've since cut back after we talked and we've established a balanced time where I could do 100% focus on the family and also have time every day for just myself to do whatever I feel like, RSL or otherwise, it's working pretty well so far. It sounds like you've already talked a bit about the issue, but try to be clear that you don't want her to quit the game, you just want to spend time every day with no phones and that she can also have her time to unwind. Is this the guy who, who had his wife? <laughs> complain about him on reddit try cosplaying as her favorite champion maybe she'll <laughs> what try cosplaying as her favorite champion maybe she'll let you do some raiding Ew, you nasty boy <laughs> yeah what's her kink armands rotos old gruckus nah bro <laughs> what's her kink armands or rotos maybe artax so he can solo her dungeon <laughs> maybe g nut nut Grr hard? I bet it's Biggin. Does she like a hard smack or more support? War mother? I was waiting for that one. He's not into the game due to hating his wife spending too much time on it. Okay? Bro, go with the flow, bro. Go with the, go with the flow. You're, you're ruining it. My addiction got down once I was in late game. So, sorry, mate. I've got nothing for you to speed run the problem. <laughs> but after all, I want to thank our great sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. You really just need to get her a Trenda cosplay outfit. Enjoy the good life, man. Those are some hard shoes to fill because Trenda is thick. Facts, no printer. Better than going to another man, so hey, that, that's another thing, right? My wife always says, you know, I prefer you staying here, right where I left you, than to have you go outside or be distracted and, and go to the bar or something. Sleep with her sister? Bro, what the fuck? If she doesn't have a sister, then you must sleep with her brother. Bro, what the fuck even more? I think it's great you're concerned about your wife and your relationship. 
She's luckier than she realizes. I hope you two can talk and figure out a solution. Maybe set aside a time period when you're both together that she agrees not to play and just spend time together. These games are made to be addictive and it works well. You don't have to be a drug or alcohol addict to be addicted to these games. If she thinks she's not, maybe ask her to stop playing for just one or two weeks and see how she feels. One or two weeks, that's a whole ass fusion. If she wants to play after that or not even try, she's not even going to stop until she wants to. Marriage is a compromise. Talk to her. Swap with mine who won't let me play? Damn, dude. Funny jokes aside, gaming addiction and gambling addiction are both real and problematic issues. First off, if this is only an issue of you wanting to spend time with her without her being on her phone, something that helped me was playing on my computer. You can set up something to help you auto stuff so you can still progress without spending the time. It's much more convenient on my computer than phone. So I stopped playing on my phone almost altogether and stopped spending as much time on the game because I only did stuff while at the computer. Also, as ironic as it is, the more you progress, the less you have to actually put time in because everything becomes so you can auto them. Unless you're one of those guys that are always just like, uh, anybody who just autos the game or use RSL helper, you're not actually playing the game. Uh, why even have an account anymore? Like there's no point in playing the game. These are the same people who swear that they manual everything. I bet they also manual their campaign runs too. Finally, these just help set aside some time away from the game, not actually address your main issue. For that, open conversation will be needed. Also, if you're in a position to, therapy is great for overall improvement in people's lives. And it's also a great segue into today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. Have you ever thought about... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Calm down. It's just a joke. I'm not sponsored. Did you notice this because she is playing Raid or in the past she was scrolling while on social media and it was okay with you because it wasn't a game? I face the same thing with my other half. According to him, I'm always on the phone, playing Raid, writing on Reddit, reading news, etc. But whenever I'm doing the same things on my PC and not my phone, he's got no issue. But in general, he's not a gamer. And he doesn't find any pleasure, uh, pleasure, pleasure <laughs> in playing PC or console games. While from my side, I don't find any interest in his hobbies because he has none. If she's okay with her obligations and she is okay towards you, then check also from your part if it irritates you that she has a hobby because it's not a conventional one. Yes, Raid is addictive. As for most mobile games, if not Raid, then something else. TikTok is addictive. They indeed might be a way of decompressing during a stressful day, but a red flag is that she says she's happy with it. With Raid, you are never happy. You have to read, calculate. Second, you like this game. Now, if she spends on the game, that might be or become an issue. If she isn't happy with something else or she is having a hard time and cannot open up, then by all means, support her and try to find a solution together. Pee on her to show dominance? Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Sounds like you and your wife need to have a serious discussion about your goals and boundaries. If this is a big issue, particularly since you're in med school, it's something you need to talk to her about. Potentially counseling would help mediate both of your concerns. Now, I thought med school was like always taking up your time, so you should be happy and proud or um, fine that she has something to do while you're busy studying because you should be studying, I think. Unless... We just have a generation of doctors that aren't really gonna help us. Everyone plays this game for a different reason and you won't find your answer here. For example, I enjoy the gambler's thrill of pulling shards. Other people might enjoy customizing teams or overcoming different dungeon challenges. Relationship is hard, addiction, whether it's gaming or other types are more internal. I empathize with you, wish you the best. It's likely that she has an avoidant or addictive personality. Raid is her way of feeling like she's good at something or making steady progress on something or just the way to focus on something that feels positive to her. She's using this coping mechanism in place of drugs, alcohol, or spiraling anxiety. The correct answer is that she should talk with a therapist and start the long journey towards learning about her coping mechanisms, triggers, feelings of hopelessness or helplessness, and other issues that this insane world brings up. We all cope in different ways. Please have compassion for her and exude support first and foremost if you want to see positive change. Don't worry, as her attraction to you, this as well will pass. Sick burn, HP burn, goddamn. I'd rather her be on that than Facebook or something else like that. That's true. Ask her how much she's budgeted to spend on. That always goes over well. Then if you check, you find out it's actually twice than what she's spending. Seems like the perfect wife to me. Dress up as a character for crazy adult fun. Drive her account so you can have something to talk about. Family that raids together, stays together. You're in trouble, bro. She might be having an affair with a legendary attack champion of the dwarf faction. What the fuck? 
Horn dog. Marry her again. Sorry, most of the replies are jokes. We're also addicted, so that wouldn't be much help. Be less boring. This. I mean, is she a whale, a kraken? Does she spend money? That would be a problem worth focusing on. Otherwise, take what you can get. I know this feeling all too well. Does she spend your bill money on the game too? What do you mean your bill money? He's a med student. Join in. Best tip for her is to play on PC and use RSO Helper. Nobody can help you. We're all addicted. Start a free-to-play free -play account. Be interested together. I like these comments. Like, just get into the game and play together. It's bad. My wife was upset with me at one point. Didn't realize how absent I was from real life until I quit. Damn. You might have to just manage. One factor is waiting out. After half a year or so, maybe she won't be playing as heavily. Boneyard says, well, you could build a bridge and get over it. I do the same thing, and I don't see my wife on here complaining. I'm not going to be helpful here. Sorry. I never comment, but this one hits close to home. I too had gamer addictions. Before walking into the game, I had an addicted personality, and I was a gamer. I'm also a completionist, so getting all the fusions and other requirements was basically mandatory for me. After many years, I decided to let this addiction go. Good for you. No one could tell me when, but it was up to me to make that decision. I let my clan know I'd be stepping down after six months. This was a big deal as I was cluster leader of 13 clans with a fully developed account. I then moved to a different game that was significantly less addicting just to hold me over until I could finally quit gaming altogether. I changed and removed all my YouTube feeds, Discord channels so I couldn't get sucked in. Notice my wife is loving me more as I'm able to focus on her more. You see the the variety of posts here. You know, most of them are jokes, but there's some actual valuable information here. Every time I was in LA, I was with my ex-girlfriend. Every time you